Hi everybody, so if you remember in video 2006, I was banging on about hopeless motors, hopeless generators and generation at the rim as it being one of the really exciting areas that people are really into. And of course lots of people were going, well how would you do that then? So I thought I'd do a concept model of the simplest possible method and it uses this, it's just a cradle. Now I've drawn this up in, <laughs> in Tinkercad of course. And the files are available free on Thingiverse, of course. And all it is, is a flat piece with four cradle arms, and each of those cradle arms takes this, just a pulley. One of the interesting things about this is I've used these cones to make a needle bearing, and the needle bearing slots in there and does rather well, actually. It spins quite freely and for quite a long time, so I've made four of them. Now in order to make the actual generator section itself, I'm going to use this. It's an a empty spool from 3D printer filament and so why not recycle, reuse, repurpose kind of thing. And it fits neatly into that cradle and of course it spins. Now we only need two things. One thing is some magnets right at the rim so that we can put a coil against them and get some generation. So I've done this which is just a guide ring. So that will go on there and we'll put some magnets on there as a guide ring. You didn't, don't strictly need that but then you've got a problem placing the magnets and putting them uh, the right distance apart. The only other thing of course is something to drive it and what I intend on this is either wind or water. So if I have a wind blowing across here and a little vein, it's going to catch the wind, it's going to turn. If I have a water supply here, of course, it's going to turn like a mini water wheel. So for that, I've made uh, some of these, 12 of these. Then just quarter pipes. So you could make this just by sawing up a pipe and finding yourself an empty spool. And all we do with these is glue them in at an angle. That will then be my generator. I mean, granted, it's probably not the most efficient of generators, but it is there to demonstrate the principle that we've got generation at the rim through some generation mechanism with some support mechanism, and that's what we're going to need. So, I'll glue these bits on. Okay, that's it glued together. It took all about 10 minutes, to be honest. Now, I've put some magnets in here, and they're two millimeters by one centimeter neodymium magnets, and that sits in there. All we've got to do is give that some sort of input, so we might blow a wind over it, we might put it under a tap. And if we hold a coil, and I've got a coil here against those magnets, we should see it generate something. Now this is just a model, so don't expect it to light Manhattan. We should get a volt or so out of it, I would have thought. But we'll give that a go, and we'll see what happens. Okay, volt meters right there, coils right here, hairdryer right there, because we've lost all the wind. So let's turn it on, see what happens. <laughs> what did we get up to? Uh, I, I see peak at around 3 volts. Oh, okay! <laughs> Okay, I, I thought that was fun, but don't get it into your head that this is a finished project. It isn't. There's clearly lots of things wrong with it. It's really just demonstrating that idea of generation at the rim and no axles. So, I mean, I have an axle here because we do have these supports here. Now, these bearings that we use, the cone bearings, I just wanted to give them a try because they're obviously usable and suitable for things that don't need uh, a lot of low friction. Probably better to replace those actually with uh, real bearings. These were a bit close together, maybe they should be further apart so that it actually runs a little lower down and a bit more stably. But the essence is there. We have 
input at the rim, we have no axle, we have a little support here to keep it running true, and we can get a generator there where we don't have an axle. Now we've done it this way around because it can be wind or water, you could equally do it that way around as well as we've done it this way around, and we'll probably look at it that way around another time. But there is the nub of the idea for folks to take away and work on. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.